Hey YouTube, I'm doing outstanding, and I just wanted to preface this with saying, yes, this is the only video coming out today, probably. <laughs> Obviously, you know more, you're from the future, uh, because this should be coming out on Saturday, uh, hopefully, with any luck. So I've been having troubles uh, with my computer recently, not sure why. But for whatever reason, it's been having a tough time recording, etc., etc. I've lost a few episodes. It's not the software. It's just my computer being weird. My hair is all over the place. Anyway, so Saturday, today, the day that this video came out, uh, I had to wake up real early. <laughs> um, I haven't woken up yet, because 8 a.m. hasn't happened yet, but I have to wake up at 8 a.m., which, by the time this video comes, <laughs> the timeline's fuzzy, okay? Right now, it is 12, 11 a.m. on Saturday. This video should come out at 2 p.m. on Saturday. I woke up at 8 a.m. on Saturday. No, earlier than that, 7 a.m. I'm not excited about that. Not at all. Anyway, <laughs> so I have to wake up early so that I can do some stuff. And then I'm going to go on a date, which I'm excited for. She's very beautiful. Uh, and I've been learning how to say you're beautiful in Russian because she speaks Russian. And I thought it would be interesting to do that. Uh, because I love languages. Um, for example, Japanese, uh, anato wa utsukushi desu. Uh, Spanish, and I'm not sure on this one. I'm basing it off of memory. I'm not looking it up. Eres hermosa? Maybe. Uh, and then the Russian one that I've been learning recently, and I'm totally going to butcher it. Ti krasavitsa. Ti krasavitsa? Tikrasavitsa. That's what it was. It was Tikrasavitsa. Anyway, um, I thought it would be fun to learn that. Uh, <laughs> I've spent this entire past week saying it to myself over and over and over and over again uh, to further cement it in my mind. Um, it's definitely been interesting. Uh, Russian is a lot harder <laughs> than I had anticipated. Japanese was easy to me. Um, Spanish was so close to English, it's it's fairly easy to understand what's going on there. Not always. Definitely not always. There are some words that are like, well, it's obviously this, but it's not. It's just not. I can't remember one off the top of my head, but I know they exist. So, <laughs> because I had to deal with one on Monday, but I, it's Saturday and I've forgotten it. Anyway, besides that point, um, yeah, so there probably won't be a gaming video today. And I'm saying probably because I don't know. I'm not from the future like you are. Um, anyway, I'm hoping that, uh, I'll get some recording done, uh, late mon or late Saturday, s early Sunday, as well as some on Monday, uh, because this has been a difficult <laughs> week, because I cut it too close, uh, I was gonna spend all day Monday recording, but instead I, I did not. <laughs> I spent it elsewhere, doing other things. Was it worth it? 100%. Will I do it again? 100%. Um, just hopefully not this Monday. <laughs> so, anyway. I think that's everything that I have for you guys. Um, if you want to see more stuff on this channel, please let me know. This Sunday, uh, or no, this Monday, I do plan on recording an episode, uh, or like some sort of a podcast type thing with my friends, uh, Noah and Steven. Uh, in which we go through uh, old stories that I've written. Um, and whew, you know, I'll, I'll give you a little bit of a, a sneak peek at one line from this. You guys can't see it, which is fine. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, God. I'm completely in the way, so it's kind of... Uh, right. He walked in a single direction until he hit the edge of the forest. It was a large field full of tall grass. He looked around amazed at how large the area was. So, <laughs> God knows. So this story was written uh, probably when I was in 8th grade, 7th or 8th grade. Um, it's terrible. Especially for an 8th grader. Like, 
even worse. Um, it's just horrendous. And so I'm going to read it. It's like four pages long. And I'm going to read it with my friends. And it's going to be so bad. Uh, and then Noah and I also wrote a little short story. And then I'm writing a story right now, uh, slightly based on The Most Dangerous Game. Because while it is a decent book with an interesting concept, it's too short. And it cuts the interesting parts, uh, in my opinion. Um, because the way it does it was, you know, like, this guy, he, you know, ends up on an island, blah, blah, blah. He ends up with, like, this famous dude, or, or not famous, now, rich dude. This rich dude is just like, oh, man, you know what? I've been hunting since I was a child, and I love to hunt, but everything was boring. But here are the things that, uh, well, and then, like, the main character is just like, Oh, but what about a uh, wild boar? I was like, ah, boring. Tigers? Boring. Pigs? Boring. Uh, then what, what did you choose? Humans. <laughs> and then, you know, it's... It's just like, Humans, oh god, how dare you? Oh, let's a crime. You know, like, well, yeah, obviously. I mean, yeah, yeah, no, it's murder. But, like, he's just like, Oh, no, 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 you misunderstood. It's fair game. <laughs> I give them a knife. <laughs> I've got a gun. I put them in a forest that they've never been to, and one I've hunted many times. It's a fair game. <laughs> and so uh, he gets the main character out into the forest. He has three days to live. Uh, and if he survives the three days, he gets to go home. And so in the period of about 20 minutes of audiobook, if that, they go through these three days... Uh, and, and then it's just done. And that was it. It was so short. And it missed so many interesting details. Um, even with the guy only hunting at night, my god, the amount of details that could have been included that could have made it so much more interesting. Oh my god. Like, there were parts with traps and dogs and servants, and, like, all of them were just quickly over. Like, two sentences later. And it's disappointing, to say the least. Uh, so I'm, I want to write uh, a series of short stories. Um, each one longer than that. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. I think the entire book was like 58 minutes. I listened to it at double speed. So it was like, not even. It was like half that, obviously, because that's what double speed does. Anyway. So I want to write that out, and I think it would be what there's so much more information there, you know. So I want to include like different types of locations and, and different types of attackers and hunters and things like that to make it more interesting, um, because it's supposed to be the most dangerous game, but he didn't go into the dangerous part of it. <laughs> At one point, he had his shoulder hit with a log, and that was it. It's like that's not dangerous, you know? Like, he was talking about earlier in his story where he got uh, almost completely gored by a fucking bull, and it's just like, that sounds way more dangerous. I don't know. So, needless to say, I think that'll be interesting to have on the channel. Some other things I want to do is the William Shakespeare Star Wars that I have here. I'd love to be able to read that with my friends. I don't know. We'll see. I don't think any of them are interested in it. I like Shakespeare. I think it's fun. Um, and here, are, here will our scene. No, it's in Fair Verona. Where will our scene? Uh, so I don't know. I I used to know the entirety of that paragraph at the beginning of Romeo and Juliet, but I can't recall it offhand anymore. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon. Hit the Patreon. Hit. Me, I don't know, hit yourself. I don't know. Don't don't do that. Have a good one.